everyone so you want to zip up files you want to be able to password protect those files um, I'm gonna show you how in this video it's gonna be kind of fun um, definitely uh, leave comments at the end if you have other ways that you've done it or if you've cracked open these files and use different tools I'd love to hear all your guys' experiences on that stuff I'll definitely provide my feedback as well um, one of the things I did want to mention to you guys is that I'm really shooting for with this channel and I'm hoping to get everybody subscribed because uh, once I get to the point where I'm making money off this thing, I'm going to start. I'm My goal is I want to fly people out, right, to my place, hang out, uh, geek out over whatever they want to learn. I mean, we could go over smart home technology. We can go over Apple technology. We can go over just overall security technology, programming stuff, all sorts of stuff. So we can just geek out, do whatever you want to do uh, for a day or two and, and have some fun. But uh, the only way I'm going to get there is if I get you subscribed and watching the content, liking the content, commenting on the content, the faster that happens, uh, the faster I'm going to be able to start picking people to do that. And at some point, I honestly, my goal is to like be able to have like a group of people come out, you know, for a weekend and, and, and honestly like have some of the engineers I work with come out and work with all of us as well. So I would just love to do that. That would be just sweet. Um, all right, let's get into this. Uh, let's zip up some stuff. So we are going to start off doing it kind of the easy way, the, the way that's just right in the finder. If I want to zip up this file right here, I'm going to hold down Control, click on it, and I'm going to hit Compress. And that will zip up the file in this location and if I were to delete this file double click this file again it will unzip and I have it again now if I can also do that with this folder if I want a cool thing that you can do in the finder is you can select these two items uh, click control and it changes and you can compress both the items into what's called an archive.zip. Now I can double click this archive.zip. It's a folder that has my two items that I zipped up. So now, let me just delete these. Try to keep this cleaned up here. All right, so now I want to get into the funner stuff. Uh, and that requires us to open up the terminal and do a couple commands. No big deal. Super easy. Uh, command spacebar, type in terminal. Command plus to blow that guy up. And the command we're going to use is the zip command to zip up this file. And then I'll also show you how to unzip it as well. So right off the bat, we're going to type out zip. And if I drag this file on here, I'm first defining the name of the file that I am going to name for this compressed file. I am naming it zipmefile.pdf.zip at that location. And then I'm doing a space and I'm compressing it with that file. So I'm going to hit return. You're going to see that it creates a zipped file. The thing that is wrong with this file, well, it's not really wrong. It's just the way it works. If I double click this, you're going to see that I have a users folder. That users folder, I have to dig down into and there's my file. If I don't want all those directories, I can run that command with an option. Command K to clear the screen, arrow up to get the last command back, and option key to get me the crosshairs so I can go behind that zip, and I'm gonna do a minus J. Minus J 
is, whoops, one sec here, and get rid of those files. Minus J is going to get rid of those junk directories, okay? So when I zip it up, so it's going to zip up, and now I'm going to delete that file, double click this, and you're going to see that it's just the file, right? So I got rid of those. So I can do that same thing with the, the zip me folder is go like this, uh, zip minus R for recursive whenever you're doing a folder and if that folder has folders or directories within it and they're you need to recursively uh, compress throughout otherwise you just get that top level directory all right so we're doing recursive uh, we cannot do the minus J so we're just going to drag this folder we're creating a name dot zip and then we're giving it a source and it's that folder I'm gonna hit go oh I want to get rid of this file real quick just trying to keep it clean and we're gonna see that we have this directory this directory or the zip file the zip file has the users directory in it so if I double click this you're gonna see it there it is it's the whole thing let's get to uh, password protecting this thing alright so let me clear the well, let me clear the screen. Command K. If I haven't said that ten times already. Zip minus E for encryption and and to create a password. And then we're going to also do the minus J because I want to make sure that I don't have the junk directories. I need a space right there. Control E to go to the end. Dot zip. Drag that file on there again. I want to delete all this stuff. Clean it up. All right. So what do we have here? We have zip. We're we're password protecting it with the encryption, and we're getting rid of the junk directories because we just want the file itself. Uh, when I double click on that, so I'm going to hit go. It's going to ask me for a password just as one, two, three, four, but I've never actually used that. Hit enter, one, two, three, four. Hit enter. And there is my password protected file. Let's double click that guy. It's going to ask me for the password. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> let me delete this one first click OK and boom file is back I can even use unzip when I drop it on the desktop get rid of that file just to show and then give it a source oh I gotta give the minus D option for the directory. It's going to ask me for the password at the command line. One, two, three, four. And boom. There's the file. Pretty slick, huh? Pretty easy. Not too bad. Let me know in the comments if you have a better way or some cool things that you've done. And honestly, get signed up. You guys, get subscribed. So I can grow this thing and get you sitting next to me. That would be just crazy, man. I don't even know any of you guys, but that would be just super crazy uh, to be able to just teach people from around the world. I'd love it, honestly. Uh, so get subscribed. I hope you like the video. Have an awesome week, and I will chat with you next week. Take care.